We initially started off with Pyre ML wire, which has two layers of insulation of polyamide. Um, it ended up being too thin and a little bit too weak to uh, scratch it. So when we wound it on the wire guide, we got shorts. It was also very hard to manipulate because it was 10 gauge wire. We dropped down to 11 gauge wire, which we could actually form by hand. We eventually moved on to glass wire, which is thicker insulation with glass woven on top. It's very resistant to short, so it was perfect for our application. We stayed with the 11 gauge wire because it was easy to manipulate. We also had a couple tools that we used to manipulate the wire. One of them was vice grips with Delarin on top of it. Um, it helped us grip the wire as it was going in, which enabled us to control the twist of the wire before it got onto the wire guide. And this is a big problem because when the wire goes onto the wire guide, it likes to twist because uh, of the pitch. Um, another tool that we used was carefully designed Delrin pieces that we used with a hammer in order to push the wires over to one side of the wire guide. These tools allow us to stack the wire evenly so that the top layer of the helix lays flat for the cooling jacket. Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe and click here to watch our previous videos.